I've been doing a lot of work on my research paper about educational issues during the Civil Rights Movement, and the pieces are starting to fall into place. I found this document by the Council of Federated Organizations in the Wisconsin Historical Society's Freedom Summer Collection. I've done some close reading, and I think it will be a good fit for my paper. I just have to figure out the best use for this source. This document is pretty specific, so I don't think it would be a good fit for my exploration of broad themes. Instead, it might be a good support for some of my claims or arguments. One of the claims I make is that black students were underserved by the educational system in segregated states. This quote from the essay would support my claim, but maybe not as strongly as I would like. After all, when I analyzed this document, I noticed that it used a lot of charged language. This document might be too subjective to convince my readers that my claim is true. I think this document is a better fit for one of my arguments. I'm arguing that an important part of training the volunteer teachers for the Freedom Schools was getting them into the right mindset. Where the charged language might hurt my objective claims, it will help strengthen my argument because it is a good example of the training materials that were provided to teachers. I have a plan for fitting this primary source into my research, but I also have to think about how I will fit it into the format of my actual paper. This document is mostly text, so it will be pretty easy. I can transcribe this passage as a quote or paraphrase it in my own words. In either case, I will place the passage in context and I will cite the original source using the citation style I've chosen. If I were using a different type of source, I might have to work a little harder to incorporate it into my research paper. For example, I found this Freedom Day poster in UWM's March on Milwaukee digital collection. I can transcribe the text, but the people reading my paper would miss out on all the poster's great visual information. If the image won't lose its impact by shrinking it down and maybe printing it in black and white, I can insert it into my text that way. But if I have other options, like this transcript from an oral history interview that I also found on the March in Milwaukee collection, I'll want to pick the one that has the most impact for my particular project. In this case, I think the oral history will be the best fit. As I keep researching and working on my paper, I notice that I still have a few gaps. In particular, I still don't have anything to back up my claim that black students were underserved in segregated school districts. The sources I've found so far have all been subjective. In my next round of searching, I'm going to look for more objective information, maybe something like literacy statistics. As I continue my research, I am sure I will find new information that will strengthen and maybe even reshape my research.